Hello everyone, welcome back to our new video. In this video, I will give you more information about the top 5 best graphics card for AutoCAD that are available on the market. Actually I try to make popularity, quality, price, durability, user opinion and more. If you need more information about this products please check the link description section below. Don't forget subscribe this channel for view future videos. Let's start this videos. Starting at number 5, we have NVIDIA Quadro P1000. The NVIDIA Quadro K1200 can be coined as an entry-level graphics unit to be used with AutoCAD. Even though it is relatively older than the new NVIDIA Workstation GPUs, it still gets the job done cost-effectively. It comes equipped with 4GB GDDR5 memory along with 640 CUDA cores for faster processing. The card uses NVIDIA's Pascal GPU architecture and is very powerful and efficient having a TDP of only 47W. Therefore, it doesn't need any aggressive cooling solution, and the single active fan installed on top of the heatsink is enough for adequate cooling. As it uses a 128-bit memory interface, you will get a total memory bandwidth of 82 gigabytes per second. Its peak single precision FP32 performance is around 1.9 teflops which is impressive and should be perfect for AutoCAD beginners. Moving on at number 4, we have NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060. GeForce RTX 3060 is a beast mid-end GPU with 3584 CUDA cores. It brings more and better VRAM that is going to uplift the performance in AutoCAD and other GPU-intensive programs as well. You will get 12GB of GDDR6 memory on a 192-bit bus. This results in a higher bandwidth of 336GB per second which not only increases performance in productivity apps but games too. RTX 3060 consumes around 170W on full load which isn't very high and a decent 500W power supply should be adequate. Unlike Quadro cards, it is much cheaper but at the cost of higher power consumption and other disadvantages that gaming cards generally have over professional GPUs. At number 3, we have NVIDIA Quadro RTX 4000. If you need insanely accurate results with a GPU priced at less than $1000, go with none other than the Quadro RTX 4000. It replaces the previous Quadro P4000 completely in every aspect and is the first ever professional GPU to introduce ray tracing. It unlocks the FP16 performance of gaming GPUs which makes it a monster for direct 3D performance. It introduces RT and Tensor cores that aren't present in any previous generation Quadro cards including the P1000 mentioned in the list. It is equipped with 2,304 CUDA cores and a decent-sized memory of 8GB GDDR6 that runs at a high speed of 14 gigabits per second. The FP32 performance is 7.1 TFLOPs which is roughly 3.5 times more than the P1000 and hence, you can expect your rendering stuff done at an insanely high speed. At number 2, we have NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3070. Stepping up we have a beastly GPU the GeForce RTX 3070. Based on Ampere architecture, this is actually a no-compromise card for only $500. This card features a whopping 5,888 CUDA cores and significantly higher RT and Tensor cores for amazing ray tracing performance. RTX 3070 has one disadvantage over the RTX 3060 and that is 8GB VRAM. Due to the design and use of only 1GB memory modules, the RTX 3070 is limited in memory but it does feature higher memory bandwidth of 448GB per second due to being on a 256-bit memory bus. The FP32 performance of RTX 3070 is really high sitting at around 20 teraflops which theoretically translates to very high performance in GPU-intensive tasks that requires the execution of a lot of data every second. And finally at number 1. NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050. The RTX 3050 replaces all of the previous sub $300 graphics cards from NVIDIA and gives roughly the same performance as the GTX 1660 Super. The major difference here is its architecture. The NVIDIA Quadro RTX series GPUs are all based on the Turing architecture. 
Although they are capable of ray tracing, their RT cores and tensor cores aren't that powerful. Therefore, the Ampere enters the game where you have much stronger ray tracing capability on budget. The RTX 3050 is the cheapest ray tracing GPU from NVIDIA and comes with 2560 CUDA cores. The total VRAM you will get is 8GB with a memory bandwidth of up to 224GB per second. This will be a decent choice for any AutoCAD user who wants ideal performance without breaking the bank. Thank you for watching guys I hope you like this video, if this video helped for you. Please make sure like, comment and subscribe. If you have any question related this product, you can leave a comment down below, I hope back to you as soon as possible.